Hi everyone. This is the IB package on set theory and probability. Uh, this is the section on conditional probability and this is example 7. In a class of 25 students, 14 like pizza and 16 like coffee. Okay, and we keep reading here. One student likes neither and six students like both. One student is, student is uh, rented, randomly selected from the class. What is the probability that the student? And the first question here is likes pizza. Okay, well, the first thing we want to do here is let's, let's draw a, a Venn diagram to represent what's going on here. Okay, now our universe here is 25 students. Okay, and we've got two sets. Okay, I maybe didn't give myself a lot of room in there, but anyway, we've got pizza and we've got coffee. Now, we've got one student who likes neither and six, six students like both. Now, one student likes neither that's going to be out here. Okay? They don't show up in either one of these things. Six students like both means the six students are going to be in the overlap, which means if 14 like pizza, okay, because there's the, the two sections here, the two subsections to the pizza set, six here, there's supposed to be 14 total. That means there's going to be eight who just like pizza. Okay? And here for coffee, it says 16 like coffee. Well, if there's six there, this is going to be 10. And so there we go. This is the, the distribution of the information here. So when we look at, okay, what is the probability that what is the probability that a student likes pizza? Okay, well that means of the 25 students in this in this group here, there are going to be, well, we got 14 there. So what's the probability that the student likes pizza? That is going to be uh, 14 out of 25. That's a pretty straightforward one. You almost didn't need the, the Venn diagram for that. But take a look at the next question. What's the probability that the student likes pizza given that he or she likes coffee? Well, in this case here, okay, when we would write it like this, this is going to be the probability that they like pizza given that they like coffee. Whoops, sorry, coffee. Well, in this case here, we're restricting the domain to just the set of students who like coffee. So if you ignore basically everything else here, we're just looking at this group of 16 students here. There are six of them that like pizza, okay, out of that group. So that's going to be six out of, whoops, sorry, six out of the 16 students. Ah, oh, you can't see that. But six out of the 16 students that like coffee like pizza. And then we would reduce that down to three-eighths. And there you go.